Hi, this is Elaine with expressionsbyelaine.blogspot.com. Today I've got a card for you um, for the Cards TV Stamps Challenge number 27. It's Mix It Up. Make a card layout or craft project using three pattern papers. Um, the challenge starts Friday, April 5th and runs for two weeks to ends on Thursday, April 18th. And for my card, I'm going to be using Create a Critter 2 and the Artiste cartridge. I'm making an A2 card, which is 11 by 4 and a quarter. Fold it in half, and it's going to be a portrait style. And I'm going to start with the inside. And I don't know what measurement this is. I just kind of cut it till I liked what it looked like. And the stamp that I'm using today is from Think Spring. For the inside it says, if friends were flowers I'd pick you. Right here. And I'm stamping it with um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. With my Fisker Stamp and Press. I really love this little gadget. I really haven't used my blocks anymore since I've gotten this. There's the inside. And that's a nice little, it's a nice font too. It's really cute. Okay. For the outside, my first pattern paper. This one is from Recollections. It is the Bright and Basic set. Can't fit it in the screen, but it's got lots of great designs, patterns. Am I going too fast for you? And I ink the edges of the green with New Sprout from Memento. And I forgot this measurement. This one is about. This one's a quarter smaller. I usually do an eighth, but I think I did a quarter on this. So, five and a quarter by four. My next layer is going to be a white layer. This one is five and a quarter, five and a half. Hmm. This one's five and a quarter. Okay, 
And my next number two pattern paper is this pretty blue one. And it comes from Target from K and Company. So it's just a designer paper. I really like the quality of this paper. It's a little thicker than some papers. I'll get the measurements and put them at the bottom for you since I forget what they are. And my tape gun is having issues. Try this again. Maybe I'm just going too fast. This one I did about an eighth smaller. Okay, uh, my first layer is some grass, and I cut this using the Fiskars grass punch. this popped up on one thickness of foam tape. I get my foam tape at Odd Lots, or Big Lots, I think it's called Big Lots. And this is my third designer paper. So that's my three layers of designer paper. The next thing I'm using is this little dog. This is from Create a Critter 2. He's on page 51. He's a little 4th of July dog. I just didn't add the hat on him or his little blanket. And I cut him at two and three quarters. And I'm just going to put him flat down on the paper. I thought he was cute. I just looked through the book and said, oh. I'm going to make him. Okay. And my next items are these little tulips. Which is also on the Create a Critter 2 cartridge on page 42. Right up here. I just cut it twice. And then cut the stem off of the colored piece and made the color for the tulip part. Like that. And those are cut at one inch also. Or, well, also because my other, I have some other pieces that are cut at one inch. Glue these down. A new one. It's not coming out so well. And for the grass, I did cut two, two layers, and I just offset them. Two different colors of grass, two different papers. My 
next item is the sun. And that was in the Artiste. It's on page 70. Right here. And what I did is I cut two. And then I cut one in orange and one yellow. And then just took the center of the yellow and put it into the orange. That was cut at one inch. And I have that on one thickness of foam tape. I did ink all the edges on it, but just really can't see it. For some reason, it seems like it fades out after I do it. And I did kind of curve it a little bit, if you can see that. I kind of just went like that. Give it a little height, a little more. I don't know what you call it. And I also have some clouds. I had been seeing a lot of people using clouds, and they were using a Fisker punch, and I was thinking, I've got to get a Fisker's punch. But then I found these clouds in the Artiste on page 70 with the sun right here. So I just cut out a ton of those, and I have them for when I need clouds. And I did ink the edges with the blue. I also inked the edges of this paper um, with the summer sky from Memento. they turned out really cute. I was so happy I didn't have to buy something. <laughs> like, wow, I already have clouds. Didn't even know it. It's one thing about you get a cartridge and you see a couple things you like and then you don't really pay attention to the rest. That's one thing I like about using the glue is it slides around, but then sometimes you don't want it to slide around, then it does. Okay. And my last piece is my sentiment. I just put it on this strip here. And this is also says, Friends are Flowers in the Garden of Life. And this also is on in the uh, Think Spring set. Get someone to put behind it so you can see it. This one is right down here. Friends are Flowers in the Garden of Life. And it has a nice big space in between it. So all I did was use my Fiskars Press, which really helps line this up and just stamp that half and then wash that off and then ink this side and stamp the other half. So you could line it up really well with the stamp and press. And I'm going to glue this one on. There you go. I thought it turned out cute. I hope you like it. And I hope you can join us for our challenge. It starts April 5th and ends April 18th. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.